I have seen a ton of Bloxburg YouTubers build a 5x5 home in Bloxburg and I came to the realization that I have never done this before. So today we're building a 5x5 home. I've built a 1x1 home, I've built a tiny home, I've built a home inside of a trampoline. So how hard can a 5x5 home be? And at the end of the video I'm going to throw the most extravagant party in all of Bloxburg with all of my subscribers. So if you aren't already make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be in future videos like this. Also, I don't know why, every time I do my intro, I'm so still. Like, look how stiff I am. I need to start doing emotes. What's this? Black pink. Oh! Damn, boy! He fit! Okay, we're gonna name this plot Alaska's Big Fat Juicy Mansion. Okay, so, oh, I wonder how big this house is gonna be. One, two, three, four, five. Did I just have to count to five? Okay, we can do like a basic square like this, but eh, that's kind of boring. No, we're gonna do three and then we're gonna bring this one back by two. So then this can be like a tiny little porch, if you will. Also, I don't know why, but my neighbor decided to blast Michael Jackson right now. Like, don't get me wrong, love MJ songs, but like not when I'm filming. Like, yee No, stop. I ain't trying to be copyrighted. All right, that's um the inside. So is that really five by five? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna make this a house though. Um, <laughs> I swear I've done build battles like this and they've been five by five. I don't know how I expect you to finish a five by five home. That's just cruel. You know what? We're gonna fit. I don't know how we're gonna fit it. Maybe the bathroom here, right? And then like if I cut this up, this can be my bedroom and then kitchen and living room here. Maybe, right? Yeah. And the theme we're gonna do is, um, ready? Bohemian. Boho. That's what all the cool cats do nowadays. They all do boho themes. I don't think I've ever done a boho theme in my life, but you know what? We're gonna do it. I don't even know what boho is. What is boho interior design? Boho style is a free-spirited aesthetic that mixes different cultures and artistic expressions into an electric style with blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm just I need photos. It's kind of um reminding me of a hippie interior. I feel like this would be big in the 70s. So um yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now for our front porch, we're gonna use a basic shape and kind of make a tiny little step up into the balcony. Like this. Ooh la la, very nice. And what colors like boho? Maybe we can do like cobblestone here. What about concrete? Like a cloudy gray concrete. I don't understand how people can live in big mansions. If I lived in a little five by five home, I think I would be happy. I would be happy in my ways. Cause like, think about it. If you live in a big mansion all by yourself, what if you hear like a noise in the house that someone's breaking in? You don't know where they're coming from because your house is huge. Compared to like, if you had a little home like this, you'd know exactly what's going on at all times. So we're gonna use a gable roof. And you know what we're also gonna do? I'm thinking we can have another roof up the top here. If you do anything, it just makes the house look cute, if you will. So I don't know if I like it. I have came to the realization that I hate it. What if we replace this with a chimney? <laughs> Wait, that kind of looks pathetic. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, I take back what I said. The thing with doing this like five by five challenge is so many people have done it before. So it's a thing with like trying to make it different than everyone else's house. So if this looks similar to um another Bloxburg build up, I'm sorry, okay. But like, I don't know, I'm trying to make it different, but I don't think I've ever done boho in my Bloxburg builds before. But I'm not gonna lie, the front of it is actually looking pretty cute. I think I'm just gonna place one slanted roof here and then that's it. Another thing I love about doing small builds in Bloxburg is that you can make them as detailed as possible. Cause usually when I'm doing like a really big build, I will typically run out of time and I won't be able to make it as detailed as I want it to be, which is like super annoying. I don't know when I found this build hack that was like, if I add small square beams on my roof, it'll look good. But ever since I started it, I can't stop. And I feel like it's the same with basic shapes as well. Like seriously, once you start using basic shapes, you will literally start using them in every single build you do. It's a problem. Now for the windows. I think we said the living room, all my bedroom's gonna be here. So we'll be lucky to fit one traditional window. A mix of some shutters. What's like a boho color we can do? Maybe orange? Like a nice shade of orange for the shutters. Ooh, very nice. And of course, our little tiny window up here that leads into absolutely nothing. Get pranked. <laughs> 
Oh, you think there's a room up here? Well, there's not. Sorry to break it to you. When I first started playing Bloxburg, one of my first ever videos was um renovating the starter house. And I think I'd done this same build hack and I thought I was a genius. I was like, oh my God, no one talked to me. I'm the absolute best builder in Bloxburg because I'd done a wall on the roof. And I thought I was so cool. I'm not sure if that was before or after I had advanced placement. Cause get this right. The first time I ever bought Robux was actually using my own money and I bought advanced placement. I remember it so specifically specifically because I remember as a kid I wanted Robux so bad but our family just like couldn't afford it at the time so yeah when I bought advanced placement for myself oh my gosh this is the coolest thing ever and I think the first thing I done was this little build hack here okay the outside of this five by five home is looking quite splendid I feel like an English teacher definitely lives here like do you guys get those vibes as well like a little English teacher she comes home after a long day at school and this is her home now usually on the outside of my builds I'll have like a rocking chair of some sort but we can't really fit a chair so i think i'm just gonna place some flowers oh we can even add an oak shelf at the bottom here oh and add some cute little hanging plants oh wait no stop that is adorable and for a last touch a overgrown wall vine at the front here okay so that is the exterior of our five by five home now for the time that i've been dreading aka the inside yay okay boho theme i'm thinking like a light hurricane gray for the walls obviously except for the bathroom maybe this can be a nice green tile actually speaking of green i kind of want to do a green bedroom as well oh yeah green for the win you know what i just realized where are we going to put the dining table <laughs> i feel like in a boho themed bedroom we'll use carpet all right next up we need the doors okay doors done okay what room should we work on first so here's the game plan we've got right living room bathroom bedroom and kitchen slash dining room the only problem is this is technically meant to be the living room except where are we going to put everything because there's doors everywhere <laughs> So we might have to move the doors here and then one over here. So what if we place um, two more windows like this and then three windows at the back of the kitchen? Because I want there to be a lot of natural light that comes in here. So living room, we're gonna have maybe the little mini fireplace right here. Wait, no, scratch that. We're gonna have the fireplace on this corner and then the TV can go on top here. Oh damn, I accidentally pressed sage green for the fireplace. I actually like it. You know what, we're keeping it. You know what Bob Ross says, happy little accidents. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I'm pretty sure in like both themed houses they try and fill up the space as much as possible so this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me considering i am a minimalist but you know what we shall overcome that rope is wonky what did i do all right what about some of these weird hex shelves what are they planning on hexing me with these shelves get it hex oh my god shut up i'm surprised you guys unsubscribing for me at this very current moment and we're like hmm what are you gonna place in these shelves ready another thing that just crossed my mind is this is technically meant to be the entryway as well so we're gonna need space for like our shoes and a mini coat rack so what if we put desk organizers on the floor and this can technically be where we have all of our shoe space and then next thing we need is the living room i don't know what couches i'm gonna use though because it's everything's so small i know that i definitely want green couches okay what if we just do simple sofas and kind of attempt to make a sectional lounge right here you know what i feel like that kind of works okay hear me out twisted wood for the couch oh wait you know what another thing about bohemian houses is that they have a ton of different colored pillows that i've noticed so i'm going to try and add as many pillows as possible without making it look stupid i've always had a problem where i don't know how to like place pillows and blankets on lounges but you know what i feel like i'm getting better okay so don't bully me all right he's ready for this bohemian spice boom the lounge is done i don't know if this is gonna look stupid or dumb Stupid or dumb is the same thing. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna look good or stupid, but I really wanna have a leaning floor lamp right behind this couch. But for me to do that, I'm gonna have to actually move this couch, add the floor lamp, and then add the couch back. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's not too bad. And then some random bohemian posters. Okay, so lastly, a carpet, a coffee table that we'll be making out of a basic shape, a light, and then I think that is our living room all complete. So now the next thing I wanna do is a kitchen. So to play this safe, I think we're gonna have the kitchen in this three by one square. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear that? Salem, that was the most dramatic meow I've ever heard in my life. I always wonder what they're saying when they're meowing at you. The 
kitchen and the bathroom are the two rooms I think I'm gonna struggle the most in. Okay, what's like a boho colored kitchen? Maybe blue, like a nice cadet blue. Like bring this down a little bit. Oh, you know what we can mix this with? Gold and marble. Oh, she is stunning. Oh wait, you know what my problem is guys? We're gonna have to have a sink here. So where on earth are we gonna fit like the benches and everything? Where on earth are we gonna fit the counters and everything? Okay, at the back of our kitchen, we can fit our good old cutting boards and maybe just a tiny little coffee machine, but that's it. We can't have too much clutter in this kitchen because um, we genuinely do not have the room. You know what though, for someone who hasn't done a bohemian themed house before, it's actually looking really pretty. Like I don't even know what bohemian was until like two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so custom wallpaper at the back here. And I think that is our kitchen. So now we can do the dining table, which surprisingly we actually have quite a bit of room. However, all the dining tables are like way too big, except for this trendy round dining table. But you know what? Instead of an actual dining table, we're gonna be a little bit smart and use modern island benches instead. Cause in this way it works as our dining table and more space for us to cut our food on. Okay, only two chairs in here because well, it's not like there's gonna be like a big party at the end of the video where 75 people are gonna show up, right? <laughs> No, I just realized that as well. How on earth am I meant to fit 75 people in this house? I don't know. All right, so there's our dining table. Now, the next thing I want to do is the bathroom. Oh, and it looks like you guys have uh, started to spawn in already, great. The more furniture I add in this house, the more difficult it is to navigate my way around. Okay, so I know for a fact that I want the shower here because I feel like it'd look really nice against this green wallpaper. And then for the storage, we'll just use like glass shelves. Usually I will put the towels outside of the shower, but we don't really have room for that. So I'm thinking, what if we have the towels at the edge of the shower? So then that way, once you finish your shower, you can just like quickly grab a towel. See, aren't I a genius? Wow! I don't know why, but the funniest thing about inviting you guys onto my server is not actually telling you guys why I'm inviting you on. I'm just like, okay guys, come to my server. And I don't tell you guys what's going on until you guys find out in the video. <laughs> like right now, there's people at the front of my plot waiting. They have no idea what they're waiting for. Like who knows, I could like trap them and they would never know. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have built a trap in here. Oh, damn. I just know I'd have the coziest showers in here. Okay, we've got the shower. Now we need the toilets, which guys, I think we're running out of room. Don't know about you, but you know what? Toilet can go there, okay? We may have to jump over the toilet to actually get to the shower. Okay, which means lastly, we'll just need the sink. You can fit nice and tug in the corner. And for a little quirky mirror, we're going to use this with a plant, even though I know for a fact that we do not have room for a plant. Except my brain is telling me to add a plant, so I shall add a plant. And instead of like really harsh white lighting in our bathroom, we're just going to have these cute little industrial pendants and kind of just like hover them over the sink like this. That way it sets a very warm tone for the bathroom and overall just makes it really cozy. So lastly, we need the bedroom. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you guys. Wow. Okay, bedroom. How on earth are we going to do this? Well, I know for a fact that we cannot fit a double bed in here. The best we can do is like an industrial single bed and put this like right up into the corner. Oh my gosh. And even that barely fits. All right, are you ready for the most coziest bed in your life? Ready? In three, two, one. Boom. The most comfiest bed you've ever seen in your life. This isn't something that I've done before, but I decided to make all like the blankets and the pillows messier than usual. And for some reason, I I love it. It just makes it look way more realistic. And then to fill in the back wall here, we'll just add some paintings. And copying our little build hack from the bathroom, we're also gonna have some pendants in here. Cause I just love how cozy it looks. Oh, it just makes me wanna snuggle up in bed and just watch a movie. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a laptop here, and I'm just gonna pretend that I'm snuggling up watching a movie in my cozy little boho bed. Okay, so we've got the actual bed. I think we're gonna place it in here. Unless we make this the desk. Ooh. Yep, I changed my mind. We're making this the desk. Cause I've actually came out with an idea. If we make this the desk right, underneath the desk we can have some storage units and even a basket with some clothes. Okay, lastly a book, maybe a candle to make the room smell nice. Which means then in this section here we can have a hook rack and add what we were originally going to have in the entryway. And then voila, the 5x5 five five house is all complete. <laughs> Finally! And this little beauty comes to a total of 
Drum roll, please. $49,000. Oh my gosh. And here's the party, guys. We're having a big, big party in my little house. Now, before everyone comes into the server, let's go have a look at this house, shall we? So this is how the outside of our 5x5 five five home turned out. It's actually quite nice. And then when we go inside, we're greeted with this cute little living room type moment. Considering the living room and just everything in here is so small, I was not expecting it to turn out this good, but I'm actually obsessed. So this is the kitchen. It could have definitely used with more lighting. Or maybe because the light's off. So yeah, this is the kitchen. We then have the bedroom in here. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Who are you? I think the bedroom is definitely like one of my favorite rooms in this house just because of how cozy it is. And then the last room we have is of course the bathroom, which um, when you walk in, you kind of have to walk over the toilet. We don't talk about that, okay? We're gonna ignore that. So then here we have the sink and then we have a cute little shower. So yeah, this is our little five by five home. It seems pretty practical, except how practical is it when 75 people come to a party? That's simply not possible. Why isn't it possible? As you can see, we have everyone joining already. Come to my party. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, free for all. Everyone come in. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> okay, we've gotta bake this cake, so put this in the oven. Hello, um, excuse me. Your whole bum is in my face. Could you politely get off these counters? Get out of here! Not this woman dancing on my counters. They're brand new, thank you very much. Like, hello, treat this house with some respect. Oh, hello. So yeah, this is the house, guys. Make yourself at home. Just no jumping into the bed, please. Um, don't want to break anything. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I walked in on someone out the toilet. Oops. Mm. So yeah, anyway, guys, that was me building a 5x5 five 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 house in Blocksburg and inviting you guys at the end. This house didn't turn out too bad. I rate her a solid 7 out of 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.